Hello from Calgary. My name is Linz. If you're new here, I'm the social media manager for Couture Pop Ups. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. We are trying to grow our YouTube audience, and if you love fashion, you'll love us. In this video, I'm gonna take you along with me for a two-day pop-up in Calgary. It's one of our favorite cities to host pop-ups. People are lovely here, and we have probably our most exciting shipment of designer clothes, shoes, handbags of 2023 that arrived for this sale. There's so many cute things that they've been unwrapping today. As always, the team is working super hard to get the ballroom set up, and we have an influencer preview tonight, starting at seven, and the doors open to the public tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Let's go take a look. The room is almost ready. And I think it is 6.59. Influencer event starts at 7. So bring on the influencers. Outside, but before we open to the public and everyone swoops up all the good items I wanted to show you some of the awesome pieces that Ashley brought in for this pop-up we got some women's Fendi we have heels and boots so cute we also got a few styles of Amina Muwadi who is very hot right now these are my personal favorite look at the little spike jewel detail and they're like not too high I feel like these would be so comfortable to walk in for men's we also got a Saint Laurent stock we have these sneakers high tops in black and white these metallic silver ones as well as a few other styles for men's clothing we got this awesome Fendi Coat. I think this is gonna be sold as one of the first pieces. It's so great. We also got in these McQueen like cargo pants. I think these are gonna be also very popular. These Dior silk shirts with the paisley print. Regular 2100 for 849. If you want some Dior, definitely come shop with us. And then over to women's, we got these new Vetma jeans in. I think these are so cool and I think our customers are gonna love these. We also got in this super cute romper by Saint Laurent for women. It's completely open in the back. So gorgeous and it comes with this little belt. So the belt would be like here and it's a little shorts. These new Jacquemus little jackets with the zippers in a hot lime green. The camera's not picking up the exact color, but it's more of a true lime green. As well as some Burberry with a matching skirt. How cute would that outfit be? We got some Gucci slides we haven't even actually put on the floor yet, but some new Gucci coming. We also have some new men's Prada coming to the floor. Now over to the handbag section. We have some new McQueen. This one is so gorgeous. Look at that. We have off-white, new Givenchy. We got a few Valentino bags in as well. I personally love this one. More Valentino in white, brown, and black. We also have this Leopard print Fendi. You love leopard. This though. I love this bag. Like if I were to buy any of them, I think it would be this one. We have some Reeve Gauche. Prada. And then for guys, we also have some Fendi backpacks. This camouflage off-white duffel. McQueen backpacks. Palm Angels are always popular. 
this Fendi bag. <gasps> so gorgeous. Some YSL. This Prada tote. Fendi. Okay, so it's 9.30 and there are a lot of people waiting. So I'm very curious to see what the line is like just before 10, if it's this busy now. But it looks like it's gonna be a busy and exciting day at Couture Pop-Ups. giant squiggly all around this hotel so we could control <laughs> this lineup but people in Calgary are so nice and so lovely so everyone's been super patient and awesome today It's three o'clock and even when we're in Toronto, I can usually guarantee our audience on Instagram and TikTok that by two o'clock, we're through, we've, we've let in the entire line and they can come and shop without a wait. But it is three o'clock and the line is as big as it was when we opened at 10 a.m. this morning. I've worked for Couture Pop-Ups for a year now in every city across Canada and I've not seen a line this big consistently all day. So, Calgary, we've got some fashion lovers here. <laughs> oh my gosh, literally just coming out for air and it's been non-stop all day. Lindsay, for Alberta, very surprising, but honestly, same with Winnipeg. Wasn't expecting it to be that busy, but it has been insane, so pleasantly surprised. So you were happy with the line then? Absolutely, I mean, I would, I'm almost like it's 8.30, where's the line? But it has literally just died down about maybe 15 minutes ago. And in comparison to other cities, what was that line like? So to be honest with you, like our biggest market, it's always going to be Toronto. Um, but this was like all day. This had never, there was never a lull in the lineup. It went from minimum two hour wait to like an hour to 45 minutes. But honestly, that's because we have such a good security staff that's so good with getting them in and out that if we had any other team, it would have taken literally five hours to get in and out. What are you hoping for and expecting for tomorrow? And were there any particular designers or pieces that, that Calgary was shopping for? I think, to be honest with you, shoes, men were loving the Dolce & Gabbana sneakers. They were all over that. Um, women, they always love their ball on here in Calgary. We always do really well with it. Um, usually our second day is never as busy as our first, but I would anticipate that because of how busy it was today, we will definitely have people that are going to be coming back because they weren't, they just couldn't wait. Cool. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Good morning, everybody. It is the final day for our Calgary pop-up closet clout. We have a small lineup. We're super excited for today. I think that it's going to be a steady day and I am going to get Lindsay to go through the lineup and just show you how the day is going. This is our lovely Fernando. 
He's the handbag section king. Woo! How long have you worked for Couture Pop Ups? Uh, this is one year, but I've done like 10 or 11 events. Amazing. All across Canada, of course. What's your favorite city or what, what has been your favorite pop up? My hometown, Montreal, of course. What do you mean? <laughs> Why? Like, are people more stylish or do you just get along with them? Uh, for sure, it will be because of the people. Also, the locations are always really nice. Uh, the weather, it depends, you know. Um, I will say, though, the city that surprised me the most was definitely Ottawa. Yeah? Like, because it was so busy? It was busy, there was a lot of people, the location was great, and it was her first time in Ottawa, so yeah. You enjoyed it. And then at Couture Pop-Ups, what is your favorite brand? Uh, has to be my king. My king that is a queen, Alexander McQueen. Has to be. Love it. And have you bought anything, McQueen? Of course I did. I got shoes from Alexander McQueen. They got, like, little... Diamond encrusted at the I don't even know how to explain it. It's just worked with us this weekend um, but this was your first time working with couture pop-ups correct yeah awesome and how did you find the pop-up honestly I thought it was very busy but it was a lot of fun I think it's unlike anything I've ever worked at before and I worked at a lot of events like this so I think it was really cool cool what section did you work in I worked a lot of different stuff I worked in shoes I ran the floor I helped out in the back honestly what was your favorite oh shoes yeah, yeah. did you did you spot anything you would buy? A couple, yeah. But, you know, I, I gotta save up for that. Definitely. What's your favorite brand? Uh, my favorite brand, probably off white. Yeah. I right now. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thanks for working with us this weekend. You, you know it's the end of the pop up when? I thought I wanted to be a muscle therapist forever and I couldn't because they if told it me. Doesn't work out, no, because I have early signs of arthritis. I had it since I was 20. <laughs> okay, flash forward. It's 7 now. That's an alarm. It's been a steady day, and Ashley says sales are about like half of what they were yesterday, which is actually a really good thing because opening day is always like major crowds. But only a couple more hours to go. Let's see what happens. It is a wrap. Calgary is officially done. Woo! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I know that it's a very busy three, four days, and it's very hard for me to explain, but I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed working with a lot of you, so thank you for everything. Very unique. It's very different.